Juan. In the desolate expanse of Hueco Mundo, under the shadow of the ominous fortress of Las Noches, two powerful beings are about to engage in a battle that will shake the very foundations of their identities. The eerie stillness of the desert is broken only by the howling winds that echo through the hollowed out structures, a haunting prelude to the clash that is about to unfold. This is no ordinary battle, it is a confrontation between life and death, hope and despair, humanity and the abyss. Ichigo Kurosaki, a soul reaper with the power of a hollow lurking within him, stands at the crossroads of his journey. His mission to save Orihime Inoue has brought him to this moment, but the path ahead is fraught with danger, not just from the enemy before him, but from the darkness within. Olkiora Sefer, the fourth espada of Aizen's army, embodies the void of nihilism, a being who has rejected the concept of the heart and the emotions that define humanity. For Alkiora, life is meaningless, and his only desire is to prove the futility of Ichigo's existence. As they prepare to face each other, the stakes are clear. This battle is not just about physical strength, it is a struggle for identity, a test of what it means to be human in a world where the boundaries between light and darkness blur. The hollow within Ichigo threatens to consume him, while Alkiora seeks to drag him into the abyss. The outcome of this battle will determine more than just the fate of Orihime, it will shape the destiny of Ichigo's soul. Ichigo Kurosaki's journey as a soul reaper has been marked by conflict, both external and internal. From the moment he first gained his powers, Ichigo has been driven by a desire to protect those he cares about. But this noble goal has come with a heavy price. Deep within him, a hollow lurks, a dark and violent force that threatens to overwhelm his humanity. Ichigo's struggle to control this hollow has been a constant battle, one that has pushed him to the brink of despair on more than one occasion. As Ichigo's power has grown, so too has the influence of his inner hollow. Every battle, every challenge, brings him closer to the edge, where the line between hero and monster becomes increasingly blurred. Ichigo fears losing control, becoming a mindless beast driven by instinct rather than the values he holds dear. Yet, despite this fear, he continues to fight, driven by his sense of duty and his desire to protect his friends. Olifer is the embodiment of despair. As the fourth Espada, he is one of the most powerful of Aizen's elite warriors. But it is not just his strength that sets him apart, it is his philosophy. Olkiora believes in nothing, placing no value on life, emotions, or the heart. To him, existence is a void, devoid of meaning or purpose. This nihilistic worldview makes him a fearsome opponent, as he fights without hesitation or remorse, seeking only to prove the futility of those who cling to hope. Okiora's encounters with Ichigo have left him intrigued, if only because Ichigo represents everything Okiora despises. Ichigo's unwavering determination, his deep bonds with his friends, and his refusal to give in to despair are qualities that Okiora cannot comprehend. To Okiora, these traits are weaknesses, and he seeks to strip Ichigo of his humanity to show him the emptiness that lies at the core of all things. The battle between Ichigo and Okiora is a clash of more than just physical might, it is a battle for the soul. Ichigo's struggle with his inner hollow has reached a critical point, and the outcome of this battle could determine whether he remains in control or succumbs to the darkness within. Ulkiora, for his part, seeks to prove the futility of Ichigo's struggle, to break his spirit and drag him into the abyss of despair. For Ichigo, the stakes are not just his own survival, but the safety of his friends, particularly Orihime, who has been taken captive by Aizen's forces. The fear of losing her, of failing to protect those he loves, drives Ichigo forward, even as he teeters on the edge of losing himself. The battle ahead will test not just Ichigo's strength, but his resolve, his identity, and his very humanity. Ichigo's journey to Las Noches has been fraught with danger, but his determination has never wavered. His mission is clear, to rescue Orheim Inoue from the clutches of Aizen and his Espada. This mission has brought Ichigo face to face with some of the most powerful beings in existence pushing him to the limits of his abilities. Each battle has taken its toll, weakening his body and strengthening the influence of the hollow within him. Despite the overwhelming odds, Ichigo refuses to back down. His determination is fueled by the bonds he shares with his friends, the people he has sworn to protect. But as he prepares to face Okiora, Ichigo knows that this battle will be unlike any other. Okiora is no ordinary opponent, he is a being who represents the very void that Ichigo fears. The struggle ahead will be not just a fight for victory, but a fight for his soul. Okiora Sefer views Ichigo as an anomaly, a being who clings to hope and emotions that Okiora considers meaningless. As the guardian of Las Noches, Okiora has watched Ichigo's progress with cold detachment, curious to see how far this human will go in his futile quest. For Okiora, 
The battle with Ichigo is an opportunity to test his own beliefs, to prove once and for all that the heart is nothing more than an illusion. Okiora's challenge to Ichigo is not just a test of strength, but a test of resolve. He seeks to strip away Ichigo's humanity, to expose the hollow core he believes lies at the center of all existence. To Ulkiora, Ichigo's determination is a weakness, one that he intends to exploit. The battle ahead is as much about ideology as it is about power, with each warrior representing opposing views on life and purpose. As Ichigo and Ulkiora stand facing each other, the tension in the air is palpable. The stark white walls of Las Noches seem to close in around them, amplifying the isolation and gravity of the moment. This is a battle that has been building for some time. A clash between two beings with conflicting identities and philosophies. The silence before the storm is almost unbearable, as both warriors prepare to unleash their full power. For Ichigo, the tension is heightened by the fear of losing control. He can feel the hollow within him, lurking just beneath the surface, waiting for an opportunity to take over. Ulkiora, on the other hand, is calm and composed, confident in his superiority. To him, this battle is already won. Ichigo's struggle is meaningless, and he is merely prolonging the inevitable. The stage is set for a confrontation that will test the limits of both warriors, pushing them to the edge of their identities. The battle begins with a clash of titanic proportions. Ichigo, wielding his Zanpakuto. Zangetsu charges at Ulkiora with all the speed and power he can muster. His attacks are fierce and relentless. Driven by the urgency of his mission and the fear of losing control, but Ulkiora is a master of precision, his movements cold and calculated. He deflects Ichigo's strikes with ease, countering with devastating force. Ulkiora's speed and power are overwhelming. Each of his strikes lands with the force of a sledgehammer, pushing Ichigo back and testing his limits. But it is not just Ulkiora's physical strength that poses a threat, it is his ability to get inside Ichigo's head. With each exchange, Ulkiora questions the meaning of Ichigo's existence, mocking his determination and belittling his emotions. To Ulkiora, Ichigo is nothing more than a misguided fool, clinging to meaningless ideals. As the battle progresses, Ulkiora begins to press his psychological advantage. He can see the fear in Ichigo's eyes, the growing desperation as he struggles to keep up. Ulkiora's words are like daggers each one designed to cut deep into Ichigo's psyche. It speaks of the futility of life, the emptiness of the heart, and the inevitability of despair. For Ulkiora, this battle is not just about defeating Ichigo, it is about breaking him. Ulkiora's nihilism is a weapon in itself, one that he wields with precision. He seeks to strip away Ichigo's hope, to show him that all his efforts are in vain. The more Ulkiora speaks, the more Ichigo's resolve begins to waver. The fear of losing control to his hollow is growing, and Ulkiora's relentless assault only exacerbates this inner conflict. Ichigo is fighting not just to defeat Ulkiora, but to maintain his own sense of self. As the battle intensifies, Ichigo's struggle with his inner hollow becomes more pronounced. Each time he is pushed to the brink, he can feel the hollow clawing its way to the surface, threatening to take over. The power of the hollow is immense, but it is a power that comes at a terrible cost. If Ichigo loses control, he risks becoming a monster a mindless being driven by instinct rather than purpose. Ichigo's fear of losing himself is palpable. He knows that if he succumbs to the hollow, he may never be able to return. Yet, as Ulkiora's attacks grow more relentless, Ichigo finds himself being pushed closer and closer to the edge. The line between hero and monster is becoming increasingly blurred, and Ichigo is forced to confront the darkness within him. The battle ahead will not only determine the outcome of the mission, but the fate of Ichigo's soul. The battle takes a dark and terrifying turn as Ulkiora unleashes his resurrection. Murcielago? His transformation is both majestic and horrifying, as his already formidable power reaches new heights. With wings that stretch out like the embodiment of darkness itself, Ulkiora becomes the very personification of despair. Kizireyats, or spiritual pressure, becomes suffocating, threatening to crush everything in its path. Ulkiora's resurrection is not just a physical transformation, it is an amplification of his nihilism. In this form, he embodies the Void, a being of pure, unrelenting power with no regard for life or emotion. His attacks become even more devastating as he unleashes techniques like Cerro Oscuras, a blast of pure energy that leaves nothing but destruction in its wake. The scale of his power is overwhelming, and Ichigo is pushed to his limits. As Ulkiora's power grows, so too does Ichigo's desperation. He is outmatched, both in strength and in resolve. Each of Ulkiora's attacks pushes him closer to the brink, and the fear of losing control becomes almost unbearable. Ichigo can feel the hollow within him, screaming to be unleashed, but he knows that doing so could mean the loss of his humanity. The tension within him builds to a breaking point. As he struggles to maintain control, Ichigo's desperation is reflected in his attacks. 
which become increasingly wild and reckless. He is fighting not just against Ulkiora, but against the darkness within himself. The battle is no longer just about rescuing Oriheim, it is about surviving, about holding on to the last remnants of his identity. The struggle is intense, with Ichigo teetering on the edge of losing himself completely. The battle between Ichigo and Ulkiora is a clash of titans, and the scale of devastation is immense. Las Noches, the fortress of Huecomundo, shakes with the force of their attacks. The ground is torn apart, walls crumble, and the very air crackles. Ulkiora's Cerro Oscuras and Ichigo's desperate counterattacks create shockwaves that reverberate through the entire structure. The destruction is not just physical, it is symbolic of the inner turmoil that both warriors are experiencing. Ichigo's struggle to maintain his humanity is mirrored in the crumbling landscape around him, while Ulkiora's embodiment of despair threatens to engulf everything in darkness. The battlefield itself becomes a casualty of their clash, a testament to the overwhelming power and the existential stakes of their confrontation. A turning point of the battle comes in a moment of utter desperation, pushed to the brink by Ulkiora's relentless assault. Ichigo's inner hollow finally takes over, transforming him into a monstrous Vasto Lord-like form. The transformation is sudden and terrifying, as Ichigo loses all sense of self, becoming a creature driven solely by instinct and destruction. His Reiatsu becomes a dark, violent force, and his eyes glow with a malevolent light. In this new form, Ichigo's power is immense, far beyond anything he has ever experienced. But it is a power that comes with a terrible cost. As the Hollow takes control, Ichigo's humanity is all but lost, replaced by a primal force that knows no mercy. The line between hero and monster is obliterated, and Ichigo becomes a force of pure destruction, driven by the Hollow's insatiable hunger for battle. Ukiora, who had been so confident in his superiority, is taken aback by the transformation. For the first time, he faces an opponent whose power rivals his own. But more than that, he faces a being that challenges his very understanding of existence. Ulkiora, who had long dismissed the heart and emotions as meaningless, is confronted with a power born of pure emotion, rage, despair, and the will to survive. As the battle continues, Ulkiora begins to question the nature of the power he now faces. Despite his nihilistic beliefs, he cannot help but feel a sense of curiosity, even respect for this new version of Ichigo. The hollow within Ichigo represents the very void that Ulkiora has embraced, yet it is also a force that defies his understanding. In this moment, Ulkiora's own philosophy is challenged, and he begins to see the heart as something more than just an illusion. The final clash between Hollow Ichigo and Ulkiora is a battle of pure, unrestrained power. With no sense of self, Hollow Ichigo fights with a ferocity that is both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Ulkiora, for his part, unleashes his full strength. Determined to end the battle once and for all, the two forces collide in a devastating exchange, their attacks creating shockwaves that ripple across the battlefield. The climax of the battle is a moment of pure intensity, as both warriors push themselves to the absolute limit. The power on display is beyond anything seen before, a testament to the raw strength that both Ichigo and Ulkiora possess. But as the dust settles, it is clear that the battle has taken a toll on both of them. Ulkiora is gravely wounded, and Ichigo, in his hollow form, is on the brink of losing himself completely. In the aftermath of the battle, with Ulkiora defeated, Ichigo begins to regain control of himself. Orihime who has been watching the battle with horror, rushes to his side, using her healing powers to help bring him back from the brink. Slowly, the hollow recedes, and Ichigo returns to his human form. But the experience has left him shaken. He has seen the monster he can become, and he is left to grapple with the implications of what he has done. Ichigo's return to humanity is a moment of reflection and vulnerability. He is relieved to be back in control, but he is also deeply troubled by what he has experienced. The battle has forced him to confront the darkness within him, and he knows that this will not be the last time he has to face it. But for now, he takes solace in the fact that he has survived, and that he has saved Oriheim. Ulkiora, mortally wounded and on the verge of death, experiences a moment of clarity. For so long, he has rejected the heart and the emotions that come with it, seeing them as meaningless in a world of despair. But as he lies defeated, he begins to understand what it means to have connections with others. His final moments are marked by a sense of realization, as he reaches out to Oriheim, seeking to grasp the humanity he had long dismissed. Ulkiora's death is a poignant moment, as the embodiment of nihilism begins to understand the value of the heart. His final words are not of despair, but of curiosity and acceptance as he fades into nothingness. For Orihime and Ichigo, his death is a reminder of the power of emotions, and the impact they can have even on those who have rejected them. The battle between Ichigo and Ulkiora was more than just a fight, 
It was a journey of self-discovery, a test of identity, and a struggle for control. Ichigo's confrontation with his inner hollow forced him to face the darkest parts of himself, while Alkiora's nihilism was challenged by the power of the heart. The battle left both warriors changed, and its impact would resonate throughout the rest of their journeys. For Ichigo, the battle was a reminder of the importance of accepting his flaws and the ongoing quest for self-discovery. He learned that strength is not just about power, but about understanding and accepting all parts of oneself, even the darkness. For Okiora, the battle was a moment of revelation, as he began to see the value in the connections he had long dismissed. In the end, the battle was a testament to the power of identity, and the struggle to maintain it in a world where the line between light and darkness is often blurred. 